Hey guys, what's going on? Abby here and I am back with some remnant content for you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos. I've been getting back into it lately and it is super fun. We're going to be going over one of the Swamp of the Courses adventure mode activities. This vendor right here, Margosh, that you can see in Margosh's lair. There's a few things that you can get from him, but you have to do a few little prerequisites first. Have a few items in your inventory have a status effect in order to talk to him. So we're going to go into that in this video. All right, so Margosh is an NPC in Margosh's lair, as you can see. The Strange Pass is the dungeon that leads up to this. So if you are in that dungeon, you know that you're going to be getting Margoth afterwards. If it's your first time approaching him, you can always just fight him. He is a dungeon boss. And the reward for just fighting him is the gift of the Iskal ring. You can see right here, gift of the Iskal. Mod power is generated slowly over time, but reduces the wearer's healing effectiveness by 15%. So that's the first item on our list and what you get just from killing Margoth. Now, the other two rewards, you're going to have to have some pre-setup time in the other areas. First up, we're going to be talking about the beetle event. This happens when you come across the Queen's Court area where she normally is sitting during the campaign and you won't see her there, but you'll see a lot of beetles running around the area just on the ground. They're, they won't aggro you or hurt you or anything, and they're super easy to kill you have to just keep killing the beetles until you're gonna see a shiny one spawn now it may take a while it may take five minutes or so of just killing the beetles you want to make sure you get the big ones and the little ones there's little baby beetles running around that are kind of hard to spot sometimes so make sure to keep an eye out for that and then eventually you're gonna get a little shiny beetle to spawn it's kind of blue in color you're gonna want to kill that you'll get a quest that'll pop up on your screen you kill the blue shiny beetle. This beetle is going to drop the opalescent shell. And this is one of the items that you need to turn into Margosh to get one of his rewards. This is for the trait luminescent. This trait gives you an extra luminite chance. So basically whenever you kill elites and you get luminite to spawn, you have a chance at getting an extra one. All right, the next material that you're gonna wanna get to turn into Margosh comes from these black beetles that you can find in different dungeons, depending on what you get and your adventure. So far, we've been able to find these beetles in the Hall of Whispers, the Needle Lair, and the Strange Pass. You'll recognize the tile set here. There's like a little hole that the beetles come out of. Now, if you rush in there, they will scurry away back into that hole. So you have to kind of sneak up on them to shoot them. And when you shoot this black beetle, you're gonna get hardened carapace. Now you can only carry one of these at a time and there are three pieces of armor. So you need to do this three separate times to get the full armor set from Margosh, but this material you can turn into him. Okay, so now that we know the items that you can turn into him, let's talk about how to actually access his menu. In order to do that, we're going to have to get the status effect called Parasite. Now, there's only one type of enemy that can inflict this status effect upon you, and I'm going to show you guys how to get that. Now, if you get Margosh in your instance, in your adventure, you're going to have to go through the strange pass dungeon to get there the strange pass dungeon will have these enemies and i'll show you guys here on the screen now what these enemies look like and how to get inflicted with the parasite he basically has a swipe move and then he has a grab move you're going to want to dodge the swipe move which you can dodge by either just ducking or dodging backwards he's going to grab you and you'll go into that animation where he's infecting you you want to just let it happen don't press any buttons to get out of it once he's inflicted you with parasite your health is going to be halved but you also get health regen just make sure you buff up and take it slow through the rest of the dungeon this status effect also persists through your death as long as you have somebody that can get you up. As long as you don't wipe or sit at a checkpoint, you'll keep this status effect. So once you have Parasite, then you can go ahead and talk to Margosh. As you can see here, he's going to give you a couple of voice lines. You can give him the opalescent shell for the luminescent trait like we talked about. And then you can also look at his wares. He's got the three-piece carapace armor set, which like I said earlier, you can only get one of the hard material at a time so you're only going to be able to get one per adventure run through so you have to get lucky to get the black beetle and margosh 
However, I have found the beetles in the Strange Pass dungeons. I've also found them in the Hall of Whispers and the Needle Lair. So once you get those, you can get the full set and that's it. Another tip is you can fight him after you purchase stuff from him. If you know you're at the end of your playthrough and you want to fight him for some extra loot, go ahead and do that. You can also just fight him to get that ring at the end. If you already have the materials, obviously you can give him all the materials and then fight him for the ring if you want to do it that way as well. But that's all the rewards that you can get from Margash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.